Hey guys, Loman02, getting ready to record a cube draft. So, we're number six of eight players in the cube right now, and um, this will be our third cube. So, I've done two. One was a blue black reanimator control, which did very well, um, ended up going 3 0. And then white weenie, which I sort of forced because I opened um, a pick one, pack one Armageddon. So, this pack Kiki Jiki, Mirror Breaker, and Pester Bite in the same pack. Huh. Well, there are no good blue cards in this pack. I think I'm going to take Kiki Jiki. I mean, the card is an instant win, and it's just a great value card. Coalition Relic is probably the right pick. Oh, J Light Ranger's in here. It's a cool card. Very good card advantage card. It's more of a grindy card, though. Um, Stoneforge is also interesting, but... Um, I mean, the Pestermite could come around. The chances of it are pretty low because there's not a lot of good blue cards, but the Coalition Relic's in here. The Stoneforge, someone may want. Someone is always going to be on control, so they'll probably want like something like Banishing Light. Eh, it's probably not going to come around. Thirst will go into some deck, probably Reanimator. That may actually be a, a decent first pick as well. I think Coalition Relic's the right pick, but get in there, Kiki Jiki. I kind of want to do this. Uh, Chandra Flame Color, that card's bad. Um... Well, obviously, if you pick up Kiki Jiki, you want to go probably blue-red. Um, Hour of Devastation is a good control card in those colors, but I think it can come around. I think I'm going to take Into the Royal here. Spell Skite's also interesting. Hopefully, we don't face the aggro deck that I just played. The White Weenie deck. They went 2-1. That thing was aggressive. So, the deck was pretty sweet. Ended up getting, like, two Geddens. Um... Only place it was lacking is in one drops, I think. Um, it, it didn't have as many as I would like to have. Ooh. All right, well, this pack's interesting. We have Bolt, which is like premium removal. FTK, which has the highest likelihood of wheeling, and then Jace, Architect of Thought. I think I like taking Jace here. He's not the best of Jaces, but he's still pretty strong. Okay, well, Char's a fine card, and Johnny's really good in, like, Jeskai control, but I think I'm going to take Wandering Fumeral, and, and if we end up being Jeskai, great, but I don't want to force myself into that, I'll take the Mana Fixing here. I believe that was a Wooded Foothill, so that could have made some sense to take as well, but I don't, per se, have the Fixing in hand yet for that. Um, in order to make that, I think, a higher pickup than something like Wandering Fumeral, I probably want to have Steam Vents or, uh, or Volcanic Island. And watch, I'll probably pick it up in this pack. No, I don't. But I do get another good card for the deck that I'm trying to kind of get into right now, which is this Imperial Recruiter. And I'll pick it up. Um, I don't think... I don't know. We'll see. I mean, Splinter Twins should be a good deck in this format. I've certainly played against it and felt outgunned, but I did beat it with Blue, blue Black. Um, Alright, Rift Bolt's good. Or do you want to just take mana fixing? So blue is starting to dry up. And maybe Hollowed Fountain is the right pick up here to give us some white as well. Maybe we could just go like Jeskai Control. No one's in red. So like re the red deck wins deck is definitely, I think, open. I don't think Rift Bolt is, is a card for this. And yeah, I mean, Ice Raw Regent, that feels pretty replaceable to me. Okay, so we're going to have very good Jeskai mana. I'm going to pick up this uh, this Sacred Foundry. Which increases the, viab uh, the the flexibility of our build, I think, to a large extent. Um, now I'm wishing I had that Wooded Foothills. I believe that could at least fetch uh, red and white right now. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. The Kiki Jiki is looking pretty speculative at this point, though, as is the Imperial Recruiter. But I don't mind having good mana going into a pack two. Settle the wreckage, not my idea of a great cube card. I mean, it's it's a powerful effect, but when your opponent's deck is not just chock full of non basics like it is in constructed formats, I think it's going to be a lot worse. Um, I mean, I guess Path to Exile is a good card, so maybe it is as well. It's a lot of tempo, but it gives them a lot of uh, speed on their following turn as well. So, what do we want for this deck? I think, ideally, now we're kind of going into more of a control shell. Um, so, we shall see what comes around. This is not a good pack for us whatsoever. Collective Defiance is the card I'll pick up. 
This card does uh, approximate a bad Wheel of Fortune, right? Yeah. It's a lot of red mana, though. Um, I don't think I want to play that. The Iron Shaman's bad as well. So what are the packs telling us? The packs are kind of telling us right now that we probably want to be red aggro. I'm going to pick this up. We're not going that route. I'm playing more of a... Well, I, I mean, I guess... Yeah, no, we didn't go that route. That route passed us. Um, if we had taken the Lightning Bolt in our second pick over the Jace, I think we probably could have cemented that. But we know we're not We're not going to get the Pester Mite now. Deceiver is still a thing. Restoration Angel actually works to make this combo as well, so I guess that's an option. Um, you know, I, and actually, that's not... That's not a horrendous... I mean, if we get the Exarch, I think we're in a good spot. Plus, being white actually gives us uh, Recruiter the Guard, which is also a good card in this deck. Although, I have to recall, this is power, right? Yeah, so, obviously, Pester Might's the best if I get both those cards, uh, the, just the Imperial Recruiter and the uh, um, Recruiter the Guard. What do I think of the deck so far? Meh. I'm not really all about the, the Kiki combo right now. I'm kind of feeling like we probably want to be like a big mana Wrath deck. I will pick up a Glory Bringer, though. Um, well... Then again... I mean, Glory Bringer's a proactive card. Hour of Devastation just board wipes. I've got white. I'm going to find a way to do that, I think. I've got white mana. I don't have any white spells to cast, but I have white mana. I think I can find a way to uh, reliably uh, swipe the board. Um, and Glorybringer can just randomly win games. Um, I don't really want to play any of these cards, so I'm going to pick up a good sideboard card against Reanimator. Okie doke. Well, Hazaret... Is interesting. I think we pick it up. In some matchups, we actually may want that. Stoke the Flames, we'll pick up as well. Yeah, so Red Deck Wins is just wide open. I'm going to put this in my deck for now. So blue is being cut pretty heavily. That doesn't mean it can't be a supporting color for whatever deck we're building right now. I mean, honestly, should we just start like picking up red cards and just go for it? All right, let's think about it. We have Elsbeth Knight Arant, which is a good Planeswalker card. But you know what? Like, no one's picking up red cards. I'm just going to do it, guys. I'm audibling into the Red Deck Wins deck. I know I'm pitching a bunch of picks. But my cards actually better support it. Um, Incendiary Flow has the higher chance of wheeling over Inferno Titan. It is a big top end for um, a red aggro deck. Yeah, I think I think I want to cut signals now. I'm just going to cut the signals. Is there a Jeskai deck out there? Yeah, we just saw Supreme Verdict, but I mean Stoke the Flames probably can get in there. Uh, Collective Defiance is actually not horrible. Yeah, I mean, this is actually a thing. Like, I, <laughs> I've randomly picked up enough, like, just about as many cards as I had in Jeskai as I could in Red Deck Wins. I don't per se want to start Glorybringer, but it's not a bad one to start. I mean, it is a card that can actually Provide card advantage in Red Deck Wins. Um, here. Ooh. I think it is Fire... Ah, it's close. One of the other two creature cards, a wheel. Fiery Confluence is just a boatload of damage. It's a very flexible card. I want the one drop here. We may get the Seal of Fire back. But at the rate we see these red cards passing, like, I wouldn't be shocked if we got, like, Goblin Guide. If uh, Sulfuric Vortex in the cube, we'd probably get that. Like, no one's on the aggro red deck. And not with us cutting it. I mean, I think we're the only ones cutting it right now. Yeah, the blue cards just, like, dried up last pack. We got, like, an Into the Royal, which is not a good blue card, and a Jace, Architect of Thought, which is, like, a moderate blue card. Given, like, some of these red cards that we did wheel are not great, but just because we're seeing them that late, like, I feel like this deck has to be open. Like... I really didn't feel like drafting aggro, but I guess it's the route we're going to go. Okay. Um, the question here is what I think is better. Thunderbreak Regent or Pia and Kieran Nalar. So Stoke the Flames makes me a little more keen on Pia and Kieran. 
Thunderbreak does fly, though. This puts two flyers into play and essentially equates to... It's a lot of mana to do that. I think the Thunderbreak has a higher chance of wheeling. Ooh. I think the Ferocidon has a higher chance of wheeling than this does, the Burn Spell. Unfortunately, I need to take, I think, the Pup here. Koth, yeah. This is really a zero mana. Like, this should be like a one to two mana spell. We have a lot of fours right now, though. And actually, if we want to play Imperial Recruiter, it also gets P and Kirin. So it's not, you know, not worth mentioning. Um, Kiln Feed, I think, is bad. Um, I'm not a fan of the card. I think it's just like, it just begs to be removed. I mean, if it connects, sure, it wins. All right, so this wield, yeah, kind of figured it would. It's just, it's it's only for one deck that we know is just, like, wide open. Um, I think we're going to end up with more than enough playables. Uh, here, uh, I mean, I don't want to play against Sorn, but this is a, this is a uh, league, so I'm not going to play against the cards. I'm going to take Armageddon, because I think it is the most powerful card independently in that pack. Given it is archetype limiting. I mean, I guess you could play it in, like, three-color aggro as well, or three-color, like, mid-range. And then just positionally use it. But I think you ideally want your deck to go one drop, two drop, three drop. Armageddon, I win the game. Um, that's its most powerful use, obviously, but it can go in other decks. It can go in a lot more decks than, like, Jackal Pup and Exquisite Firecraft can. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, yeah, so these both came around. Uh, I think I'm going to be happier with this guy. I mean, at some point in the game, he just becomes an unblockable threat because they block him, like... <laughs> They just die to, you know, the damage that he receives. You know, like, so right now, this is kind of a janky red deck, um, because we didn't really jump into the bandwagon on uh, pack one. But I think, come pack three, this deck is going to get very good. Um, I think we're going to pick up... I mean, we just picked up everything we needed in this pack. We're just wheeling stuff, picking it up. I mean, it's just... It's been pretty silly. I mean, you know... People are going to do this to me. <laughs> just going to pass these cards. I hate being the guy at the table doing this, but it's it's what's open, and I think it's the right call. Um, this is an interesting pack. I think I'm going to pick up Slagstorm for the board, because I could fight against White Weenie, the, the Armageddon decks, as it were, and Slagstorm would be very good in that matchup. Yeah, this thing wheeled, as expected. No respects and treat, but I guess in a format with, you know, out... A large amount of library manipulation, mystical tutor, stuff like that. It's not as good. No respect for Tassiger. Well, I mean, Tassiger is a little bit ambitious. Requires probably requires you to play generally a three-color deck. Or he could just be Tarmogoyf. Well, it's not a great opener, but the Manic Vandal will probably come back. I'm going to pick up the uh, Arc Trail here. Plus, we already have the Abrade. Um, this is an interesting pack. I think I want Rabble Master more than Strike, but I think Rabble Master has a higher chance of wheeling. Ugh. I'm going to pick up the Strike. I think the the, the Master has a, a higher chance of wheeling back. Strike is a very splashable card. It's a good effect. I mean, it would have gone in the Jeskai deck that I was building as well. Um, Outpost Siege is interesting. I think I actually like it more than Goblin Dark Dwellers. Yeah, there's some matchups where you just want this effect. I may even run a main. I don't know about that. I mean... Right now, the curve is pretty high. Well, I'll say this. I think we, at least in this draft, displayed that reading signals is important. I don't think this deck is by any means like the most busted red deck I've ever seen. I'm probably going to have to make some significant cuts. Um, but we did get into a very playable deck. Whereas I think our Jeskai deck would have been a little more dubious. A little more hopeful. It probably never would have beaten this style of deck. Um, so, not happy to say that I drafted Mono Red. But it's what was open and uh, you know we took it. Um, so these packs have not been great. I think it's very interesting to tower the Magistrate's in here. So, you know, if this is your first time watching my videos, I typically tend to play, um, 100 card. Um, 
Yeah, I can get you one, man. Um, so, the thing is, here, I think it's actually Greater Gargs. This is close, though. You know, I'm going to pick this up, because Gargs will probably wheel. Um, to one or three. Yeah, probably. I do want that, uh, that bolt as well. So, this pack's a little more dry. Dried up a bit. Hazard's going to have a tough time, actually, in this deck. Um... Ooh. Well, Wasteland is very powerful. Storm Breath is a good board card. What do I think I'd be happier with in this deck? I already have one dragon. I'm going to pick up the land. I'm already at playable count. I'd probably rather have uh, Rashad and Port, but, well, I don't know. That's not even definitively true. Like, Rashad and Port, we already know it went past us. I saw that in another pack. Um, Rekindling Phoenix. That card is sweet. I mean, it's the only pick we have. Well, Tangle Wire is also interesting, but, like, I don't know if it's going to be good enough. Get in there, Phoenix. Uh, Manic Vandal. It always cracks me up. So I play a hundred card, and like we're starting to kind of cross pollinate with uh, the Canadian Highlander folks. And um, obviously, when I hear "mm hmm," I know what it means. But when I see it written out like that, because no one ever does that, or I never see anyone do that, I always think they're asking a question, like "hmm," like what's going on with that. <laughs> so I had a funny dialogue with him. Uh, a week ago where I think there was like uh, we were both on the same page about something but I thought he was like not and it was awkward and bizarre alright Banefire why is this in the cube get Banefire out of the cube is there really a big red deck in this cube Watsy <laughs> I mean oh Pillar Flame cool Alright, so we're lacking in the one... Oh, we even get our hate card. I mean, that may actually be better than the Glory Bringer, the Bringer of Glory. Probably not. It's probably not main deck, but I can see wanting to take it out. So I have some Artifact, Disruption. What are my basic land counts at? I mean, this deck seems playable. Alright, 15. With a Wasteland... Two planes. What the hell? Come on, man. I know I have Boros Reckoner in there, but I'd, I'd never intend on using planes to cast it. Give me a break now. All right, so I think this is a 16 lander with Wasteland. I mean, I could be wrong with on that. Yeah, I think I want 16. Um, if I had to cut a card, what would I cut? You know, Outpost Siege seems like it's a board card. Specifically against Control. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're going with a 16 lander, um, one Wasteland... See how it does. Uh, it does not have a lot of the good one drops of note. We did pass up on some good ones. Um, no, either Goblin Guide was not presented in the cube, or we just didn't see it. Eh. You'll have to let me know what you think. I don't think this is the best red deck wins ever, but I do think it's playable. Like, I think it's a playable deck. Um, and I think, based on what we saw... All right, this is a keep. Eh. 
And we'll wish our opponent fun, even though we're on the fun police deck. So sorry already if, uh, if we run you over. But they may run us over. They could be like White Weenie or like Green Ramp. All right, Mono Blue. Well, draw a two drop, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, you should have sit back and counter spells. Um, just play this stupid thing out. Counter it? No, not gonna counter it. Well, I probably should have been throwing burn because of Hazaret. Hazaret's not at the best in this deck. I mean, if it ever resolves, it's probably pretty good. Um, I don't think that this card is going to do what he wants it to do here. I think it's actually doable, so... Weenie's not horrible. I'm just gonna play this thing out to get it out of my hand. Jace? Alright. Talrand. Well, Talrand is dying. I play around days here. No, I'm not playing around days. I'm just going to smash face. Printing four mana removal to answer this card in standard seems bad to me, though. Creature? Come on. Okay. Okay. 
No, I'm not going to block that. Alright, well, you can cast no more creature cards. And I have lethal burn in my hand. Seems good. Alright, well, you're playing no more creature cards, I assume. <laughs> yeah, Wretched Confluence is also a very stellar card, I think. Go for a quick win. Did I get it? Do I get it? Alright, negate. Cool. Got a counter for this one, too. Okay, well, you have to block this thing. I'm not going to attack with the pup. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I, I don't think you're probably winning this one either. I don't think it's a good matchup for blue, blue, black. It's actually horrible. Alright, so Alpo Siege, yeah, it's a good card, um, I don't know if I need it here, didn't see any artifacts, Rekindling Phoenix is interesting to me, you know, I think I'm going to try it, I'm going to try the Rekindling Phoenix, I know it's worse with Stoke the Flames, but like, he's blue-black, so like, if he kills this thing, it's just like, it comes back, you have to kill it twice, essentially, eh, eh, let's try it. Okay, this hand's probably a mulligan. This hand's a keeper. On top. Well, we could get the ultra-fast kill with um, the Kiln Fiend. No discard. It's probably a good thing for us. Land go. I mean, I think I have to just jam the Fiend and, you know, hope for the best. Um, Alright. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just going to stall the game out a bit. His spells are going to cost more than mine will. And Wasteland's only going to have so many targets. Uh, Blue Black Fairy is a sweet deck. Um, the other thing is that I could get beat by my own Wasteland. Go ahead and counter this thing if you like. Nope, okay. A lot of Blue Lands. A lot of Eye Lands. Okie doke. Ooh, sizable misplay. I don't like this line. So I'm going to braid his thing. And my thing is going to get huge and be able to get in there. Oh, go ahead and give me lands, man. I actually want you to hit my hand. Because I'm on turn four, and I haven't made my land drop. Alright, they leave it. I 
it always feels good to get a kill and feed hidden. Like, you just like, yep, gotcha. And like, that was kind of a free one right there. We did knock out our opponent's black mana, which is nice. Let's see if they live in fear. Um, okay. I'm going to say okay to this. Like, I can't think of many things that punish me here. Pestermite is not good in, in a non-blue-red deck. going on about something over here. Just going to play creature threats out. Um, he's trapped on black mana, so ideally he's got a bunch of dead cards in his hand. Okay, clone. The problem with clone is, yeah, okay. I don't, the attack there does not make sense to me. Ooh, how greedy do we get? Huh. I'm not that greedy. I'm just going to lightning strike this. Lightning striking this does not matter because it's not going to ever get hit. So I'll just get in 7 damage here. I mean, the greedy play was to play the Abbot out and like hope to mise a land. But since I don't have a lot of 1-drops in my deck, there's the chances that I miss are pretty high. He had to leave back the Pester right there to block the Kiln Feed. I'm getting all kinds of free damage in. He may just be beyond it. He's just like, whatever, dude. I don't care anymore. Okay, Sower, Sower. That is cool. Not going to convoke this. Although, if I get dazed, I would feel pretty bad then. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, Red Deck wins, takes down the first one against Blue Black, nonetheless. So, not a hard matchup for us. Uh, didn't have to play, you know, particularly well. Just had to basically draw a, a even mix of lands and spells and uh, win the game. Um, and not mulligan into oblivion. There's bound to be some horrendous matchups for the deck I'm on, though. Like White Weenie, probably up next. Hands keepable. Not great, but keepable. I really don't want my 2-drop to be this Abbott, but... Alright, black, no discard. Cool. Torch Fiend's a much better 2-drop. Or it might be Wastelanding, we'll see. Um, so, on hands like this, like, I'm a 16 land deck, I want to say. Yeah, after the time I had 16 lands. Him? Him, him, I win? No, just this thing. This thing's fine. Can't even block. So I'm cool with that. More land is not good. But the idea behind this hand is, is like it's going to be able to cast whatever it draws, um, as long as it draws gas. So I don't know if it's right per se. I don't mind taking a blood gas hit if that's what we're up against. That's cool with me. Maybe some sort of like reanimator build. Could be like a Liliana here. Okie doke. Okay, Phyrexian, a Rager, Rage on, man. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do this, I think. And hope we don't get, like, Umazawa's Jitted. It's an effective way of dealing with a two-for-one card like Phyrexian Rager, because, you know, it's obviously a two-for-one itself. Okay, well, I have some black mana here. Oh, I have a way to deal... Oh, it's an enchantment. There's an enchantment artifact. Enchantment artifact. Gain some life. Cool. Yep. 
going to play cost, pump cost. This is a sizable misplay. I always for, I always forget where the land's at that I need to tap. So now what I need to do is give them the opportunity to um, do this right now, right? Yeah, I can't do that. All right. I got to let them draw. They have the option to um, to whip back the um, Fresh Rager. So sizable misplay on our part. That should have been a non-summoning sick land. Most of the newer Planeswalkers that have similar abilities uh, don't do this anymore. So this is newsome, but what can you do? I don't want my cost to die here, though. I feel like it's a lot of value. Okay. So they'll get an extra card off this, which kind of sucks. And some extra life. And they have another threat. Well, that sucks. They're going to get to kill my Koth, which stinks, but what can you do? They did burn a card on a card that doesn't really do anything, though. Um, well, it does something, but it's it for a free attack on Koth. So they're back up to 16 here. I think the line is to play this fellow out. Oof, it's a big miss right there. Unfortunately, Glory Bringers out of the deck. Would have been nicer to draw that fellow. Okay. I think we have a good matchup here, though. I'm going to keep the Collective Defiance in my hand, I think, here. And I don't think I play the land, because I think I'd rather transmute the land into spells. They're not likely to play, pay the Bone Shredder's uh, yeah, maintenance cost there. It's Echo, as it were. They probably have a way to kill this poor thing. Okay, that's probably what we're going to kill. Well, actually, wait, no. Does it matter? Escalate with two modes. Cool. I think we hang back here. Tetsamok, well, is available next turn. Which is not good. Probably don't recommend attacking into me. Ooh, it's a big man right there. Probably don't want to block this fellow.
<sighs> yeah, okay. I'll take it. You got a Tetsamok on your turn, so I assume he Tetsamoks the Abyssal Persecutor and my Pia and Kieran. Okay. Well, if I draw a land, do I have lethal? So that's five, seven, plus four. Not quite, huh? And I do on the following turn. Okay, Pack Rat is not good against Rampaging for Asadon. Um. I'm gonna block there because I think I have lethal on the next turn. Okay. Okay. And game. All righty. So, did not hit their land for Tetsamok. What do I think of this one? Outpost Siege is interesting. Rekindling Phoenix seems awesome against this deck. Uh, probably better than P and Kieran. Um, didn't see any... Well, I saw some artifacts, so... What do I think of... Glorybringer seems kind of meh. Seems too big. Maybe I'd rather have, like, Manic Vandal. Let's give this a shot. I kind of want to try this Phoenix out. I have yet to cast the Phoenix, and I'm curious to see how it does. Okay, this hand is very slow, but I don't know. It's got a lightning strike. I don't know if that's any good. Probably not against the creatures that just never die on my opponent's side, but what are you going to do? It does have a, a, a Planeswalker and Hazorite as well, which kind of brings it together in the mid to late game. Um, all right, we have a... Oh, a him to Turk. Cool. Well, you hit my lightning strike. They didn't hit that well, though, honestly. Oh, cool. One drop. Lifelink is probably pretty good, but I mean, the Rampaging Ferocidon should get a lot of incremental damage out of my opponent. Pack Rat, not good against this card. 
Wish I had instant speed burn. Alright, a lot of mana over there. Alright, blood gas, cool. Probably get in there with the lily. And that's fine by me. If I don't hit land here, then I'll probably just blow up the lily. I do. I think my long game is good with this hand. Okay, well, we're going to take a sword hit here. But... You know, it could be worse. Um, we have an answer to the sword. Okay, we lose our creature card. Um, okay. Well, we're on the all gas draw here, but then again, we're not running a lot of lands. All right, they're fetching. Hmm. Green, you say? What do we get? Abrupticate or something? Yeah, okay. No, I can't reasonably do that, can I? Leave up Stoke. I'm gonna take here, I think. Ooh, that's a big man. Obviously not attacking in. Could, but I'll sack all my permanents at that point, and I don't think I can win from there. Okay, more land. Just play a threat and you probably win. Um, I can actually take all of the damage here if I want. Then I have four down to eight. Plus Hazaret, plus Koth. Koth, if I get the mountain, can make a bunch of mana. I still don't think that's enough. I think I just missed one land drop too many turns, and uh, I'm going to lose because of it. But frankly, if we'd hit, I think we overwhelmingly won this game, because our opponent's draw has been very flooded. Huh. All right, some big... Oh, it's a drain life spell. Okay, I lose. Well, hold up here. I lose X life. Does this stifle? It probably doesn't stifle. 
Yeah, no, it doesn't stifle. Okay. Oh, concede. Let's go ahead and concede there. So, they got us. Um, I think we can beat the heck out of this deck, though. I think we got a little bit unlucky. Outpost Siege is also interesting. Um, but you know what? Let's just jam. I think we can beat this deck. Like, they're just a mono-black deck. Like, they probably have, like, a Vampire Nighthawk or something like that. Hand is, uh, pretty good. Keep. And actually, the Incendiary Flow is not bad because, um, it's very good against, like, his, uh, you know, recursive threats. Okay, we're probably not going to wait, though. Well, actually, unless they have a fetch land, like... Then next turn... Nah, you know what, I'm not going to trap myself into this. Because I really want to cast the Abbot next turn, or the Stagger Shock. Okay. Stagger Shock you. Yeah. I'm going to save Abbott. I think I can get more value off of it. Him? No, Sword. Sword's sweet, though. That's a like, very good to see. Hmm. Let's be careful here. The front one is newly controlled. So they shouldn't have a haste creature that can equip this sword and attack the same turn it comes into play. Which makes me feel very comfortable. Okay, well this is annoying as hell, but hey, what can you do? Sword's going bye-bye. Manic Vandal is actually, like, a card that I think is pretty good in the Vintage Cube. I would have never thought was good in here. Um, I have to get rid of this thing. And then next turn, I mean, I can block with the Manic Vandal. And then uh, Ultimate Koth, which means I have 5 damage on tap every turn. Um, and I think it's going to be very hard. Even if they have a Phyrexian Obliterator here, I think that's going to be almost impossible for them to beat. Um, yeah. I will block with the Manic Vandal. Alright, do we have an Obliterator? No, this thing. This thing's annoying as hell. Okay. I'm going to untap this land. Just in case I draw a 4-drop. I can shoot my Koth again. That's fine. But we are hellbent and do not want to hit more lands. Um... And the odds are we probably won't hit many more because we are a 16 land deck and we have 6 in play right now. I guess we are halfway through the deck, about... No, I guess we're not. Not really. Okay, staying back. Just going to leave this mountain in my hand. Not a great draw. Could have a kill spell for it. Oh well, if they do... Ok, 
okay. And go. Well, if we ever ultimate Koth, I think we just win. If they draw Phyrexian Obliterator, they probably just win. This can get their green mana. Actually, this is bad because it allows them to uh, abrupt decay my um, Abbot, if that's what they have in hand. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Okay, remove my a threat. But your Obnixilus dies next turn? Yeah, that's how it would seem. Not attacking. Kind of have to block here, I think. No. They would beg to differ. Okay, well, I'm not drawing well, at least. They have to at least attack into the Koth now. Well, this is a weird position. So, like, they're going to force themselves to draw, hit another land. Whip. Whip is annoying. All right, now you're probably dead. They cannot gain life at this point, right? Kill spell? Damn. Damn. Good draws, man. Well, we may be losing this one. I, I think... To some extent, due to variance, I mean, we've gotten a little bit unlucky here, and like there's their one-off abrupt decay, <laughs> forest, single land. Okay, can damage him. You cannot kill him. Okay, we're attacking here. No, we're not. I didn't I don't think attacking is smart here. I think you need to get some more draw steps. All right, Massacre a Worm. Well, do you block? Probably. This is life loss, right? All right, go to one. <clears throat> oh, 
okie doke. Come on, burn. Not burn, but it'll do. <clears throat> Probably for the Liliana, yep. The struggle is real here. Oh, okay, we're just going to get this. This is going to happen. Wow. All right, come on, deck. One burn spell. All I'm asking for, no attacks. And we miss. If I still had Collective Defiance in the deck, I would leave that card. I think you allow this to die. No, you leave it, leave it in play. I guess it plays around Chandra's Phoenix. All right, so they're only at three. Come on, deck. That's a good game. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Draw a lot of lands. They had Bone Shredder. That thing sealed up the game. Well, as well as this Life Linker. I'm trying to think if we could have played this better. There's a possibility. They have the the command. There it was. The game winning spell that we did not grab. Darn. Yeah. And we had three draw steps there. Just couldn't make it happen. That's unfortunate, but you know, I can't say I feel too bad about it. I mean, we are on red deck wins, of course. Given not by choice, as you could well see by the way the draft went. I feel like we had to get significantly unlucky in that game, though. I, I feel like their deck is just way too slow to kind of keep pace with the red deck wins, even though, like, rock habitually should be pretty good against it. That was more of a mono black deck as opposed to a rock deck. So hopefully it stays up for them. I think against, like, green creature decks, they're going to be extremely good, but against the deck we're on, I think they're actually pretty bad. Um, all right, let's hope for a blue deck. Um, we don't have the play here, which stinks, because this hand's actually gas. Um, one drop, two drop. No three drop, but we'll figure it out. All right, appears to be a rock deck. This could be problematic. Um, rock decks are not good for this deck. Yeah, pure rock. That's not good. This last matchup, I think we should have won. This one, I don't think we're bound to win. Um, again, rock decks equal bad for us. I don't think I'm going to spew off this incendiary uh, flow. I don't think that's the right play. I think I need to save it for like a Kitchen Finks or something along those lines. But who knows if they'll play on turn three. I, I, I have a feeling they're on like a Finks dot deck, and incendiary flow is a great answer to Finks. That's actually the, uh, I believe it's Molten Pillar. Okay, they're going to hymn me. Interesting. They don't have a land drop? Okay. Take four. If their idea is to sit back and just try to disrupt my hand, I think I can get around that. All right, blue mana, so they're bug. Hopefully not a lay of old. <laughs> that would be annoying. Well, what do we have, opponent? Thanks. 
You know, just a deluge. Interesting. Okay. Well, hopefully a creature threat pops up. It does not. All right. Well, can we burn and eat them out? All right, brainstorm for probably land. <clears throat> okay, more blue mana. Looter? Cool. Nope, don't have it yet. They may be a reanimator bug deck. They're on double blue now, which means a lot more counters are viable. Obnixilis, yeah, not probably very good here. I'll just play the pup out. Um, I'm going to leave that in hand, actually. Okay, pup's dead. Cool. Well, if we have to draw land, Wasteland's the best draw for land. Hopefully an instant speed burn spell. All right, Profane Command. So are they Reanimator? That land is uh, dubious, to say the least. All right, YOLO. You know you have to leave up a counter for this thing which limits his plays on his turn, and then if I draw into gas, then I can just kill him. Because he's probably not likely to be able to double counter, but he could be. He's been looting for a while. It may have been a better play just to kill the looter with the incendiary flow, but I don't think so. Land before loots. Interesting, interesting. Okay, breeding pool. Yeah, it's coming to play tapped land. Okay, bolts. Go ahead and counter it. Okay. And counter for this as well. Negate perchance. Can't reman this. All right, cool. Alrighty, so got there. Outpost Siege. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Um, alright. P and Kieran, get out of there. They're very bad against um, Toxic Deluge. Again, I'm going to bring in the Rekindling Phoenix. Question becomes, do I want to take out something else? Actually, Glory Bringer seems kind of bad. I think I'm just going to go with Outpost Siege here. Let me give this a shot. Maybe if I treated my last match more like a rock matchup, I would have been better off. I like this hand. This hand's doable. I mean, it's not phenomenal, but the thing with this red deck that we have is that I don't think it's bound to have, like, just, like, epic level, like, draw, like you know, turn one plays. It doesn't have Goblin Guide, um, you know. It's got stuff like Jackal Pup and, uh, yeah, it's got that. <laughs> um, and the Vampire Dude, who's also not a bad one drop for red, but also not epic level either. Okay, do we have looter again? If it's looter, I may just kill it here. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's dying for sure. No days possible. Force of will is really the only out to this. Oh, why you? Why do you do this to me? Um, I have another way to deal with artifacts. I'm just going to blow this right now. And then I can play two creatures next turn, which is good. What's up with the opponent and their greedy keeps? Like, <laughs> I'm going to burn that thing like 100% of the time. Counter? I feel like they have a deluge in hand, but I don't think that's... If, if they draw land, then it's very good for them, but eh. t -del. Yuck. They got it. Yep. That sucks. I mean... However... I think I'm going to be okay here. Should have cast this now underneath counter magic. Get four in. Got a lot of burn in hand, so I can start burning them out. So I think they are a reanimator deck of some sort. That I don't really care about. I mean, it blocks attackers out, but, uh... Get burned. All right, counter spells up. Okay, Jace Bolaren. Okay. Recast, yep. Stoke the flames one time. Nope. No, not at all. Well, I have lethal in hand if I don't get hemmed. If I get hemmed, well, I have less than lethal. <laughs> that is for sure. Him and Counterspell are the two cards that I see as being problematic here. Probably lead back some number of them. No, they're just going to town, going ham. Hostage Taker. Interesting. Well, so they're trying to beat me down. Does that mean they don't have a counter? I mean, I don't think you want a Hostage Taker that, but... Do you have to? I guess you have to. Uh, let's play around days here. One. All right. Well, went two one with red deck wins. Uh, I think we had. Well, I don't think we had the best of red deck wins decks. Um, I think we got a little unlucky in one matchup, but I think. You know, I think we did read signals well and built the deck that was being passed to us, um, despite having missed out on the first part of the pack. So, interesting cube. Uh, two one result. You know, um, let me know if you think I misplayed anything in it. I'm sure it's possible that in the, uh, I'm gonna call it mono black, but like I guess it was kind of a slight rock or like rock light <laughs> um, matchup. There's probably a way we could have won that one game. Um, that if I go back and watch, I can probably see. Um, Obviously not my first pick for decks. I kind of wanted to play something fun this time around. This wasn't per se fun, but I mean, it did okay. It won a couple games, and uh, it was a pretty cool deck. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this short video series on the cube format, um, Legacy Cube. It's very cool. Um, I've had fun with it, and it's pretty easy to go eternal as long as you just go 2-1. 
um, each time, which I don't think is hard. Um, you know, especially if you're watching this and you're a hundred card player, I think um, you'll tend to find that drafting it comes natural because a lot of the cards are included in the hundred card format, and essentially hundred card or can Highlander, whatever, whatever version of Highlander you're playing, um, basically is constructed cube. So, and cube limited is is still. You know, in a lot of ways, I, I look at it as being uh, almost a constructed format. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and take care.